another one I'll tell you what there was at least two birds maybe three she got crazy that's why you have a what's the way you have a dog is her nose you can tell she she was on one and she just went absolutely nuts I wasn't quite ready for her but came across and shot and it uh, landed back here nice thing about having a dog they don't typically just take off flying where it's really as you can see thick stuff a lot of times what they do is they fly up into a tree and give you another opportunity we hit one road before we got to Temple Bay Resort, we're actually meeting Jeremy again. He's out doing some fishing. Ty invited me to go on a sweet trip to Temple Bay on Eagle Lake. And it's gonna be so fun because I get to do my favorite thing and that's hunt giant muskies on Eagle Lake. And I also get to learn a thing or two about grouse hunting because I don't do much, much of that. So just get a feel for the lake and then we'll hook up with Ty tomorrow. Hopefully catch a grouse, catch a muskie, and we'll be in business. Oh, there we go. Got him. Got him. All right. Feels like a pretty good fish, too. That thing hit it right away, instantly. Oh, oh, oh. Coming right at me. I think it's a tiger. It is a tiger muskie. No way. I've fished this lake since I was 16 years old, and I've never caught a tiger out here. I am stoked, man. All right, now this is always the fun part being a net man by yourself. Yay! Cool, that makes me super happy. Eagle Lake Tiger Muskie, so I am really, really excited. Wait till you see how beautiful this critter is. It's absolutely unbelievable. Look at that fish. I mean, that thing is stunning. What a deal! Just got out here, boom! Action, I tell you what, fall can just be one of those magical times we haven't seen another musky boat today. Oh, loving it. There you go, sweetheart. See you later. Hey, I've been fishing in Ontario for well over 40 years and have some great fishing memories, not to mention some very close friends. Ontario has some of the best multi-species freshwater fishing in the world. Ontario has a special place in my heart. The Ontario Experience captures all of this and more as hosts Troy Linder and Ty Shadeen explore new places, meet some authentic characters, and experience world-class fishing and hunting along the way. The Ontario Experience is the next best thing to going on the adventure yourself. And who knows, this unique show just might give you some ideas for your next fishing or hunting trip. Temple Bay has been around since 1939. Uh, still going strong every year, getting stronger and stronger, I like to believe, every year. And uh, it's just been a, a foundation of Eagle Lake, amongst us a few other ones also that have been around since the fur trade, beginning of the fur trade. Th this facility right here is for multiple groups in the winter time, or if you had a bigger group in the summertime. And that's the way we like to run this one facility right here. And still everybody that stays here in the summertime, they still eat over in the main lodge. Uh, we have some cabins that are housekeeping that are all set up with a fridge stove, you know, microwave, toaster, all that kind of stuff. We have uh, eight cabins now that are set up like that. Uh, a lot of people, they hear the name Temple Bay and they think, oh man, that's a great big facility. What we try to do is we try to have the best customer service experience that you will possibly have. So that'll be right from making your beds every day, you know, cleaning your cabin, to service on the dock, to having the minnow bucket there for you ready to go, to gassing up your boat, cooking your meals, serving them to you. Most of our boats are now Kingfishers, which uh, Kingfisher is a made in Canada boat. It's a very tough, durable boat. Uh, it's an all welded aluminum boat. We have the iPilot electric trolling motor on the bow. We have side console steering, or we have the tiller at the back. 
They got the Helix 7 graphs on them with a card. They're very, they're laid out very, very nice for the fishermen that have all the creature comforts, if you want to call it, or the, the new gadgets and toys people like to play with. Temple Bay is open year round, which enables us to do more grouse hunting and different types of hunting applications in the fall. We have uh, the ice shacks, we have the, the track mobiles to get you out to the ice fishing huts with heat and stuff like that. So it's, very, it's very, for the person that's never done it before, just to try a package like this, where your meals are inclusive, uh, we get you out to the ice shacks, heated ice shacks in a heated vehicle. So I think that uh, that's gonna maybe take us in a different direction. This segment is brought to you by Tourism Northern Ontario. Ricky was on it. Jer spotted it. Actually, Ricky saw it running and got up and towards the trees and we shot it, Ricky, right Sweet. away. First bird of the day. But my good friend Jer, he hasn't been hunting in how many years? Oh, it's been a long time since I've hunted birds, so this is fun. It's cool to see the countryside up here. It's beautiful. The leaves are spectacular now and I haven't been at it long and got one. So we actually got a little bit of snow last night and that's supposed to snow off and on today. Beautiful day in Sunset Country of Ontario where the grouse are plentiful. Yeah. First cool. one of the day, let's get back. Get Going a couple more. It. Yeah. Sweet. Good job, Ricky. Oh, she's, she's on something. She's on something. Here it is. Here it goes. Nice shot, yeah. Jer. Sweet. Nice shot. Dropped him on the fly. Sweet. Right first shot, first kill. I haven't shot the grouse Jer. in years and got him. Got a boy. Good go. girl. Look at that. First chicken, one shot. I'm pretty impressed. I was going to go do a little trap shooting, but I got caught up in fishing ahead of time, so. Still got it. I used to hunt pheasants as a kid all the time, so kind of brings me back to my youth, just walking, getting some birds. Thanks, Ty. That was super fun. Oh, God. Nice shot. Ricky, get him. Punch him up. Good you girl. Right you just catch it in the corner. I just caught it out of the corner of my eye, Stanley. That's a beautiful bird. Come there. bring it here. Nice job, Ricky. That's actually a nice adult bird. Look at the length of the tail. That's how you can tell. Youth birds have real short tails yet. That is cool. That's a nice bird right there. Actually, so we were just walking back. We've already walked on this trail. That's what Jerry and I was talking about. He asked me, do you see a lot of birds coming out? And I mean, those birds are always moving. We were probably at this juncture 40 minutes ago. Yeah. So there, there it was, right underneath the tree. Heck yeah. Got well, we've got a few. We're taking good turns. I think we should go fishing. I think so. We're going to head back to Temple Bay Lodge, get all of our hunting gear off, and yeah. get, our, get our fall gear on for fishing. Go see if we can chase a big old musk. Yeah, see if we can get a musk. This is a good program. Hunt, hunt some chickens in the morning and go try to catch a big musky in the afternoon. Who doesn't love that? A little cast and blast. Yeah, Let's go, fun. Ricky. This is cool. Beautiful country. It's fun walking up here. Spend so much time on the lake and you never see what the, you know, the bush has to offer. And it's beautiful back in here. It's really cool. This segment is brought to you by Go Hunt Ontario. Big fish time. Boom. How do you like that? See a fish on the depth finder? Wham. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> we just moved, we were gonna leave the spot and saw that there was a fish on it. It's choking on it. <laughs> there we got him. Oh, it's actually bigger than I thought. <laughs> what are you going in here? 
Oh, it's a big musky. Oh, nice musky. <sighs> oh, it's not a big musky, but it's a musky. Heck yeah. Yeah! <laughs> How do you like that? <laughs> nice work, bud. He's like, let's move. Oh, let's put it down. He saw a big mark on the... We both grabbed our suckers. <laughs> I got it down one second and caught him. <laughs> That's musky fishing for you. Yeah, this has been pretty good. This spot, like, we've been seeing fish. Like, Ty yeah. actually just put down a jigging wrap. There's, like, all kinds of life here. One thing I've seen in the fall, fish concentrate in a lake like Eagle is so big. There's so many spots. So if you see an area that's got just fish around it, there's probably big muskies, walleye, bass. A lot of the fish mix together. You've caught all three in one spot. It's really interesting about this lake is Jer, Jer and I have fished this lake a ton. It's one of our favorite lakes of all time up here in Ontario. And anywhere you go, you've got walleyes, smallmouth, muskies, and we caught them all in the same area. That's what's just a beautiful thing about this lake in particular is that you don't know what you're going to catch. You can catch them all in the same area and boom, you get another musky. This guy's a musky guy, man. He's, he knows what he's doing. So I want to show you this real quick. We're actually using live bait right now. We're using sucker minnows, which is a, you know, that's the preferred bait to have for, uh, for musky fishing here. But a lot of the old myth was that if you fish with sucker minnows, does a lot of damage to the fish. So I can tell you right now, this has one treble hook in it. Look at that. So you can just see how easy, just right, right in the corner of that fish's mouth there. See that, how easy that, no damage to the fish. So I'm just gonna take, I'll just pop that hook right out of there. And way, way less damage than using a giant crankbait with three hooks or most musky lures for that matter. Boom, just that, just that little hook right there in the corner of his mouth. No big thing. Oh man, this is a great fish, dude. This is beautiful. <laughs> so yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Yesterday he gets a tiger musky by himself. I show up right away. He gets another musky. That was it's, lucky. It's oh. gonna be a great trip this week. Oh yeah, look, look at, at this look at fish. That. That's a great fish, look at huh? That. That's wow. a great start. It's a great start great to fishing start this to week, bud. Heck yeah, we just pulled up on a couple spots that uh, thought we're good. And the second spot here, we, we were actually leaving, and we saw the fish in the depth finder and. We got sucker minnows. It pays to have live bait this time of year because these guys are a sucker for suckers. Let's they say. got a little of everything. We got suckers. We got uh, some artificials. We're going to go after them with everything we got. Cool. I'm going to get this one back. Awesome, buddy. Nice fish. Thanks. Grouse hunters, when they're in the woods, often want to know whether they've shot a male or a female grouse. And when you're dealing with grouse, it can be sometimes challenging, especially with juvenile birds. But a good rule of thumb to determine a male from a female is based on the bar on the back, feathers of the birds of the tail, and the rump feathers which have white spots on them. So for an example here, we have a red and a gray phase male birds. And you can see this bird here has a connected, the bar across the tail is all the way connected. There's no break in the middle feather. And then if you look really closely at the rump feathers, there's two white spots, a white spot dark and then white. So that means it's a male. Now when you go over to a female bird, the line across the tail will be broken. It won't be a solid line and the rump feathers only have one white spot on them. So here we've got a red one and a gray one. The same thing, we've got a broken bar across the back of the tail and on the rump feathers, we've got one white spot. So that is about the easiest way for a hunter when he's in the woods to be able to tell whether they've shot a male or a female grouse. Good girl. Hey, you know, I've said it time and time again. That is exactly why you have a dog. This was probably 25, 30 yards back, and she found something, and she stayed on it this whole way. She worked this back little mossy area. And when they know that they've got a bird on their nose, they will not give up, and she actually treed this for me. Otherwise, I never would have got a shot at it. It's so thick back here, but she did a great job. Good job, Ricky.
Watch out, Ricky! Ricky! Go get it! Go get it, girl! Cool, there's a spruce. Spruce, I've never shot one of those. That's my first spruce girls. They're a cool bird. They're smaller. Yeah. Can you tell it by the different tail? Three feet, too. Three feet, they got a different tail. They actually have a brown meat. Got that little red patch on his eye. Yep. Cool. Cool bird. They look just like it. If you're like drive by it, you think it's a, a rough grouse, but the, they are different. Uh, again, they're, they're dark meat as opposed to rough being a lighter meat. And in my opinion, the rough are a better tasting bird. But I think if you throw that in a crock pot or something like that, it'd oh, yeah. be really, really good. Yeah, wild game is all good if it's prepared appropriately. So yeah, if you say it's a little darker, just try a different recipe than you might do with the rough. But you bet. Absolutely. It's going to be great. Let's go throw it in the truck. <laughs> three shots, three dead birds. Look at this. Popped in. Was lucky enough to do that. Unbelievable. Go get Ricky! It is thick grass. She had her nose burled into the grass. Actually got that grouse up out of that grass. It's just been a phenomenal morning. Give. Yep, good girl. Right there. Is number five for the day. That didn't take too long to done by noon. Again, you get five a day, 15 in possession. So we can keep hunting. We got a few more, a couple more days to hunt. So let's go back and get a little lunch, huh, Ricky? And maybe go do some fishing. Got him. Got him. Nice. <sighs> feels nice, I can't tell yet, guys. It's just staying down. Okay. I gotta come back. I gotta come back. I gotta get around. We're just talking about what a good spot this looked like, Ty. Well known. Oh, oh my geez. gosh. Oh my gosh. It's just huge. Holy cow, Jer. It's a huge one, Ty. Nice. Pig. Go girl! Yeah! Yeah! Oh! yeah! It's a huge, yeah! huge, huge Whoa! fish! It's a huge Whoa! fish! What a day! Dude! We just screened the grouse Dude! and you're not gonna believe this muskie. Okay, I got what the net bud. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Whoa, whoa, girl. Oh. You right. gotta see this thing. What do you see? This it is, is a giant! This is even bigger than I thought. Wow. <laughs> Holy cow, wow. Jerry. Look, Look at the size whoa. of that! What a giant. I mean, talk about a cool, cool, cool experience. This Temple Bay deal in the fall, man. Big, giant muskies. There's walleyes, there's bass, and of course, grouse. Hey, oh. if you want to come here and do a cast and blast, you got to take a friend. There's no better place than Temple Bay Lodge. Cool. We both had success. Unbelievable. Let's get her in the net for a quick still. That's awesome. All right. Wow. Woo. Up. Yep. Big fish, huh? All right, just doing a little exploratory trolling here, huh? <laughs> yeah, it worked out. Feel pretty good still? Ah, he's still fighting good. I like how we're, we're kind of doing a little multi-species thing, so we have every rod you can imagine that's sticking <laughs> in the boat here. Walleyes, muskies, Walleyes, bass, muskies. trolling, jigging. <laughs> Live bait. <laughs> Everything you possibly do, but that's what you do in the fall. You do, yeah, absolutely. You pull out the kitchen sink and you go after everything in the fall because everything is eating and getting ready for the long winter. Ooh, nice Ooh, musky. Big musky. Big, huge. Big musky, buddy. Huge musky. Okay, whoa, oh, come here. Come here. Get it in there, buddy. Got it. Yes! Yeah! Oh, and it just, just popped in time. Out. All right. Yes! Huge, huge musky. Unbelievable. Oh, my gosh. Holy mackerel. I haven't caught a muskie this big. I don't, this might actually be my biggest muskie, but if it's not, it's the biggest I've caught in a long time. 
This is what the, we're using right here, these giant flat sticks. Traditional fall baits and coiling for these big muskies. And actually, we've caught big walleyes doing the same exact thing. Oh yeah, big, big baits, pike, everything bites that, so. Wait till you see the size of this thing. Whoa. Oh my gosh. There we go. Grab the side. <laughs> Back well, look that at thing. that. Look Holy at that. cow! What a beast. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. This is the place, this is the land of, of giants. Sunset Country's Northwest yeah. Ontario just holds monsters. If you want to catch big ones in the fall, there's a lot of ways to do it. But trolling, I think you'd agree, is a sweet, sweet program. And I tell you what, if you want to come and catch big muskies, Eagle Wink, there is no doubt about it, holds some of the biggest muskies anywhere. My good buddy, Jeremy Smith, he's the one that I know of that knows how to catch big muskies. We've been doing it all week. That's why we come up here. Jeremy and I have fished this lake a number of times and the reason we come back is stuff like that. <laughs>